Hoyoverse, why do you do this to me? As most of you guys are definitely aware, because you wouldn't stop reminding me in the comments, there is a new Eridition character available. And for some reason, her first run is at the same time as the rerun of another five-star Eridition character. Like, uh, like, why? Why you gotta do this? But you already know we're gonna be pulling for her and maybe her Lycon if things go well. Now, I don't know what she needs or what she does, but the plan is to build her entirely in this episode. If you remember, a couple months back, I did go on a trip to Japan. And while I was gone, our trailblaze power kind of stockpiled a little bit. So I have saved all of it for whenever the next Eridition character released. I've been spending the 240 most days, but I have... Oh, okay. Already seeing a five star is kind of crazy because I don't think we had much pity unless I'm very wrong. But yeah, I've left that 2400 untouched specifically for this. And now let's see what our luck is going to be looking like today. Are we going to be happy? Or are we going to be sad? Survey says... Oh, actually, that's fine. That's erudition. I don't... I did not actually look at what the four stars were. Wait, here's the five star. Oh. Oh, okay. I mean, if you want to make it that easy, I'm not going to complain. Okay, Serval is a rate up four star. Oh, that's only E3 for her. Okay, that was a good one to get then. And now we have uh, this girl. Um, But if we look, you know, she kind of needs a light cone. And again... I don't even know what it does yet because I haven't looked at it, but it's got to be her best in slot. And I had to check. We were at least at 31 pity, but it doesn't show us because it's been so long since we last pulled. So we might have actually been up to soft pity. Well, actually, we were at 41 and then 51 with that next pull. So yeah, we were probably at soft pity. I can't remember how light cone stuff works in this game because we lost the 50-50 on the light. Oh no, it's like a 75-25, isn't it? But we lost that last time around 25 pity ago. So I'm going to assume that that means we're guaranteed to win the next one, but I don't know if that's true. But I'm just going to convince myself that it's true. And we should be good then. We just keep pulling. We that wait, that's our addition, isn't it? What is it? This is new? Increases break effect. Do I need break effect on anyone? I don't think so. What air addition character uses break effect? Another four star. Okay, that one we definitely can't use. Another another four star with another one of the break effect. And there is the five star. Now I'm pretty confident we're going to get the light cone that we're looking for here. Question is, can we see two of them? Yes, that is right. I am greeting once again. Let's see. We're looking for double five star. There's the first one. Nice and easy. There. Oh, oh, wait. We already have you maxed. Okay. Another three erudition things in a row. Kind of crazy. You know, honestly, that's fine with me. In my mind, that is pretty lucky. So now we have Jade plus we have uh, where it's right there. Signature light cone for Jade. Okay. Now that I have read what this light cone does, uh, this seems very good for us. Next question. What does the character do? We got a basic attack, which is actually partially AoE. I don't think there are too many basic attacks that do AoE damage. Skill increases someone's speed by 30. Oh my gosh, this is a very long description. They do additional quantum damage when they attack. Oh, uh, but there is a uh, HP loss situation here. Considering we don't have a single healer on the account, that's, uh, that's not great for us. Is there an Eidolon that makes it so you don't lose HP? No, there is not. Oh, Herda was an E6. I'm stupid. It seems like Jade can be a good asset to this account. However, the, the HP, you know, negative situation has me a bit worried. Now, in this simulated universe, it might not be terrible because we can get the, you know, you would do follow-up attacks, you heal card. But outside of that, I, I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, wait, you know what's funny? I just unlocked this so that I could run to this spot to start the video. And that is actually what we have to go farm. The next question is going to be, should I go ahead and keep pulling on one of these characters or their light cones. But before I have to determine that, we do have 25 pulls on this banner. And at some point in time, we're going to hit 300 pulls, which means we get to pick a free five star, which is going to be Himiko. Oh, well, okay. Well, that one is officially one more than we need. Unless, oh, you know what might have happened? I might have already had E6 unlocked, but I was saving it to activate it in an episode. Standard banner, no five stars. Oh my gosh. I am going to go ahead and fight the T-Rex and I will come back once that is done. 13 runs of the Tyrannosaurus Chef later. We should have all of the Dream Flamers needed to max Ascend Jade. Now I have a feeling we're going to run out of everything else. Oh, would you look at that? We don't have enough Dream Flow valves, but it's okay. 
we have synthesis available. So that should keep us going for quite a bit. And I did go ahead and farm a bunch of XP as well as the light cone XP so that I wouldn't hopefully run out. That's right. I was actually prepared for this. And there we go. Jade is max ascended. We'll even go ahead and max level her too because I mean, why not? Now, talents... I'm a little concerned with because I was looking through menus and the other day, I think it was this one. There's this game tools button now, which I don't know how long this has been here. There's like a bunch of buttons. It, it tells you how many materials that you'll need if you try to build that character. So if we went in here and we started calculating, it tells us what we're going to need. So like for traces upgrading, we need all of this stuff. But the thing is, every erudition character so far has needed the keys. If we take a look at uh, these, these keys, we need these for like every erudition character so i've been farming a bunch of them in preparation for jade uh it would seem however that she doesn't need them which means i'm gonna have to do a lot of farming so once again um i'll see you after i do some farming all righty so i farmed that domain five times in total 60 trailblaze power each time of course and now i'm just gonna go through it and start leveling stuff up although i'm seeing we need lost echo of the shared wish and um we don't have that unlocked and that's because we have to beat that boss that we could not best last time, which I knew would be an issue going into this. So we may end up being a little limited here. Also seems like we're going to be needing a lot more of the dynamic outlining and the exquisite colored drafts, names that I definitely will remember. So I'm going right back to farming. Five more runs of the same domain done. I doubt it's going to be enough to get all of these where we want them to be. So I don't want to synthesize everything since we're going to need it for these outer upgrades but we can't get to those yet so we probably should start synthesizing a bit we'll get our quantum damage bonus then we'll put another level into the talent and we'll do the ultimate too so now that these are seven we can't bring them further without being able to farm that boss and if i run the domain we were just in a few more times we should be able to get both of these up to that point as well so Ah, uh, you already know what that means. Five more runs complete. Skill, now level seven. And that is everything that we can do. Actually, no, it isn't. This is everything that we can currently do. We're also going to go ahead and try to level up her light cone. And wouldn't you know it, we got to go back to the same place. Look, guys, I got more paper. We'll bring it up to level 70, do a tiny bit more synthesizing, and max level. So light cone is done. This brings up the next question. Hypothetically, if we could get another five star, which of these would be the most beneficial for the account? We could get an E1 for Argenti, which would give him some more crit damage. That's kind of nice. We could get either a super imposition of his light cone or an additional light cone for someone else. Though I would say his light cone specifically wouldn't be as good as someone like Jing Yuan's light cone, at least when we're looking at all the other characters that we have. Or we could go for E1 of Jade, 32% increase in damage for follow up attacks, and then a bunch of chargey stuff. <laughs> or another one of her light cone the thing is though this light cone is very much based on follow-up attack damage and we have a lot of good light cones we have genuine signature himiko has her signature argenti has his signature jade now has hers so the only other characters are these three but her signature works pretty well for what she does and then both of these characters don't really do follow-up attacks at all oh, okay she does a form of follow-up attack damage but it's one follow-up attack and it's not that often that you get it. So if we're looking at just Eidolons, I feel like our Gentis might be really good because we get crit damage in addition to the crit rate stacks. But because this is erudition only, and there will be fights where it is a single enemy, allowing Jade to get her charges without needing three enemies on the field could be very good. Also, with that being said, we would have to get very lucky to see another five star here. So I don't really expect it to happen anyways. What we're probably going to do is just build up pity and maybe get some servile Eidolons along the way. Like this one, not that one. Like this serval. Wow, okay. I see our luck has switched over to the path of harmony. Okay, you know what? Before we do these last couple of pulls, I'm gonna go back up here because our luck was so much better when we were wishing from the top of this. Just gonna make my way over here and then we can resume the pulling. We have two 10 pulls left. This one, not a five star. And okay, still not the right path. But this one, this one's gonna be crazy because it's also not a five star. And it, wow, okay, so all those pulls, we literally got nothing. <laughs> I know some people will not be happy about this, but I'm gonna trade these for wishes. And that gives us 
an additional pen pull because I think it'd be kind of fun to get back up to pity for another five star as we continue to get nothing that we can use. Come on, single pulls. Single pulls? We all believe in single pulls, right? The only downside of single pulls is I can't get a double five star. Two pulls remaining and one pull remaining. That is how you blow through all of your jade for jade. Just joking, we can get three more wishes. One, two, and three. Now, another issue is that her best relic is most likely going to be this one, which is the same one that I've been trying to farm so much and not getting any good pieces for. Well, okay, no, I take that back. I say that when there's one good piece on the screen. Some of these aren't that bad, but I definitely do not have two good pieces of each slot from that set. Sadly, the next best pieces that I can put on her are not very good, especially when we need a lot of efficiency to reach 120% crit damage, and we're not even halfway there. And also, here's a fun little tidbit of information. I do farm on this account most days, but in terms of like all these new things, game modes and whatnot, I know next to nothing. So apparently in the Divergent universe, whatever this is, there is a planner ornament set that is good for Jade. Interesting. Looks like I have to do a test mode first, which is good because I don't know what I'm doing. Automatically enhanced characters? Oh, wait, what? It just brings all of your characters up to level? So that means that I can bring Jade in here. I could be crazy. This just feels like an easier simulated universe. I mean, granted, this is the tutorial, so it's probably even easier here. But if they bring everything up to level, then there's even less that you have to worry about. Oh, there's a lot of free stuff in here and it resets so that's something i'm gonna have to try and keep doing oh my oh there's a big tree was that a 20 percent chance that i just failed that's almost impressive yep that ended the whole run on a 20 percent chance i don't even mind that we lost because this run is looking so much stronger what, what is a workbench of creation is this where these cat things come from okay two stars I, I don't think that's bad are we still going i thought this was over oh it revived us and we keep going interesting when does it end i'm honestly not entirely sure what i'm doing all i know is Defeat enemies. Does this really just keep going? At first, it seemed like a more streamlined simulated universe, but I think this is definitely taking longer. I guess on the somewhat bright side of that, the longer you're in here, the more of a power fantasy it becomes. This has got to be the final boss, right? There's no way that it isn't. Okay, let's see how this goes. Right off the bat, it is not looking good. They do a lot of damage, and we still don't have an imaginary erudition character. Oh, oh, it has three health bars, I just noticed. I mean, like, that, that's kind of normal but i didn't realize that and that is terrible for us here we go final phase i don't have oh it's the second one of itself oh that's gonna be fun just yeah just keep feeding me my ultimates back over and over i have so many buffs that i don't even know what they do at this point so things randomly happen that i don't understand and we just roll with it okay himiko is down uh herda is also down when is it my turn what what my whole team's dead when do, when do i get to go oh never okay no i'm not gonna restart challenge i was just in there for like an hour wait reset Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's just this individual battle I can restart? Oh. Okay, here we go. Back to the last health bar. I really don't think we can do this. I have to hope that we keep getting bursts. Ultimates. Whatever. I keep my fingers on one through four, and if it's available, I press it. This is now a quick time event game. Okay, one down, two down. We win. We do win. I did it. There's nothing for me to collect. Right, I can save my fat custom i did it at least this still counts for the simulated universe stuff okay now how does one go about getting the planner ornament set can i access the other thing now yes oh planner ornament extraction yes this is what we want wait, wait 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 you select the boss enemy to challenge it directly and earn corresponding planner ornaments upon victory when you clear divergent universe build content will be saved allowing for quick challenges with the same build uh okay so oh there's a lot of people in oh i thought i heard people talking about they were gonna make planner ornaments and stuff easier to farm is this what they meant so i want what is it this uh i want this i have a feeling that means i have to do pretty much what i just did all over again with a different boss and if i beat it then i can like quick play it to get the rewards okay i will oh it's, it's just a boss fight Ooh, i don't know if i could do this all right uh let's give it a shot Ooh, big damage i've never seen Argenti do so much damage and he just keeps getting his ultimate back wait what is that oh that looks pretty what is going on <laughs> 
I just keep clicking button over and over. Um, that, no, stop it, stop it, stop. I don't like when the enemy gets a really cool animation because it means it's going to do a lot of damage. So far, though, this seems like a free win for us. Yeah, okay. I didn't think we'd be able to do that. Lightning damage. No, no, incorrect, wrong. So if I hit one more time, do I have to fight it again? Because it was talking about how it saves it, right? It, it did not save it. I have been lied to. I've been deceived. And most of all, I have been disappointed on... Oh, wait, wait, I... I think, I think I might be understanding what's going on. I think we did that like long playthrough. We got a ton of buffs and this allows us to directly challenge a boss of our choice. And if we win, then we get the, 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 the planet ornament that it pay, pay, I mean, yeah. Would you guys believe me? If my first primary language was indeed English and my job was just to talk, I might be able to auto this, honestly. Oh, oh, would you look at that? That's the wrong set. Now I'm going to attempt to let it auto game. I'm putting it in your hands. And since I kept winning when I was doing it, that means that if it loses here, I'm without a doubt better at the game than the game is. And you can't argue that it's just a fact. And if it does beat it, then that means I am as smart as AI because that's what's being used to beat it right now. Look, I don't make the rules here. It's it's just what it is. And would you look at that? I am as smart as the game's AI. We did get the correct set this time. In fact, we pretty much only got the correct set, but uh, none of these are what we're looking for. So we go again, but I like this. I like that we can just farm the planet ornament sets like this now. Simulated universe who? That means I'm going to have to go through and do this all on my main as well, huh? We do have a couple more jades that we could use to try to get jade. I still find it funny that she's called the currency that we spend to get characters. That would be like a character in Genshin being named Primo Gem. Ooh, Serval Eidolon. Now, there are still a lot of ways for us to potentially get even more jade for jade. And obviously, we want to try and beat the main story quest. But for right now... I think I'm just going to keep farming this domain because I don't just want to take the relics that we have on one character and slap them on a new character because then we just run into the same problems that we have on every challenge account. Well, every challenge account with the exception of Geo only because we did that one correctly. But once again, it's farming time. Okay, everyone, we have a code red. This was the first relic that we got. Now, let's not get too excited because there's a flat defense and uh, I mean, attack percent is good, but like if it all rolled into attack percent, that wouldn't be great for us. We got to get a little lucky here. It's like winning a 50 50. Don't do, don't, don't, don't do this game. Game, 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 just don't. Okay. You, you don't have to do that. See, that's fine. We can just ignore the one roll into two rolls into flat defense. It's fine because it an attack. Okay. And then 50. Oh, ah, uh, well, that could have gone a lot better. Can we just pretend that that did not happen? So I went through and farmed the relic domain 30 times in total, and we got a whole two pieces that were kind of upgrades. Didn't roll that great, but they were okay. I'll show you that soon. And then I also went back and I farmed this domain 38 times, and we got very unlucky there. I mean, don't get me wrong. We got plenty of good pieces. It was just they were all on the wrong set. We got so many fire damage boosts on the fire set, but I don't think we're ever going to use that. And now these are the pieces that we are currently rocking on Jade. I did get this rope, which is okay enough for now. And what really hurts is I got one quantum ornament and it completely dodged crit damage so now i'm going to go through and salvage as much as we can and see if we can potentially get another quantum damage bonus on the right set fun fact i already did this but then accidentally clicked on one of these tabs which reset it and i had already selected hundreds of these so now i get to do it again okay there's still plenty more that i could salvage but let's just see if we can get lucky and no i don't have any of the self-modeling resin so we just got to take a gamble and hope for the best. One of these has got to be quantum damage, right? And preferably with some sort of crit substat. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a chance. Although we saw last time that. Oh, okay. Well, there's two chances. Yeah, last time that chance didn't go so well, but now we have two chances. Now let's see how they roll. This one gets ooh, HP percent. Uh, not, not fantastic. Let's see if this one can get crit rate. It gets effect resistance. Okay, neither is fantastic. Uh, between the two of them, we'll, we'll try to go for this one. Okay, very good start. Let's give it a few more levels. Very, okay, not, not what we want. Roll again into crit rate, please. Oh, all right. Let's try out that crit damage one. Ah, defense percent. Okay, so three options and all of them are not great. I 
guess we're gonna go for this because there's not much I can do right now. The thing is, Jade stacks a lot of crit damage, so we definitely want to get our crit rate higher. However, I currently do not possess the means of doing that. So for now, she's at a 65-125 crit ratio, and we are getting pretty close to hitting Soft Pity. So I'm thinking we can try out some of the other methods of getting Jade to get Jade, like whatever this event is. And let me be clear, I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like I might have done this once on my main account, but I have no recollection of it. Hey, Oyoverse, if, if, you, if you happen to be listening to this for some reason, feel free to make an erudition character that like can heal the team. That'd be kind of cool. I was able to beat that. I don't know if I completed all the objectives, but we, we won. You know what? I will attempt the super giant star mode at least once before we begin this cycle of suffering, which is not me complaining. It's actually called the cycle of suffering. Uh-oh. Well, this ain't looking so good. One monkey did go down, but I don't think Jade is going to solo this. So now it is on to the cycle of suffering. And I hate to admit it, but I barely beat the next one. And that's not even on the super giant mode. That's just basic mode. Would have thought that playing the game without supporting characters like, you know, sustain, heal, shields, any of that would actually be difficult. I'm sure nobody could have guessed that. Also, our team appears to be very slow because every time one of these starts, I get attacked by every enemy before I get a turn. Enemy attack is greatly increased. When they attack, they will deal killing blow to all out. What, what do you mean by that? When allies receive killing blows, they will not be down, but instead restore 100%. So I can't die? Wait, so what's the challenge? You kill me, but I come back. And then you kill me, but I come back. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Suddenly, my lack of support characters isn't an issue anymore. This is just so weird. Okay, you know, at least I can be proud about this. My Jade is better than the Trial Jade. We were able to beat the lower difficulty of all of these. That gets us one more wish. And it's not a five star. Oh, there is the Pure Fiction thing, which is another one of those game modes I have just not done on any of my accounts. So let's try this out. Because I think this is where Jade's supposed to be the best, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, this was one of the problems. We only have seven characters on the account, which means we can't completely make two teams. So we really need to get one more erudition character. Of course, that's probably going to be a little while since they just brought out a new one. Uh-oh. We've made it to the Himiko Herta spotlight. They just won't stop. Yeah, the enemies were level 55 there. And now they are 65. Let's give it a shot. Enemy may only be level 65, but uh, like our score is doing all right. But our health is not. But I will take my 73,000. I thought that maybe we could, you know, get away with doing the third floor. But it is not looking good. Oh, we just barely got 20,000 there. I don't feel like we're going to be able to do the same here, though. However, I am so happy to be wrong. Again, we were somehow able to get to the 40,000 mark. Of course, that does mean that we don't get all the rewards, but at least we get something. So in total, obviously, there's a lot that we're missing, but I am more than happy with getting what we got. Now, a little spoiler alert. I'm pretty sure if we do all of these wishes, we are back into soft pity territory. So there is a chance that one of these will be a five star though this is the last one i can do so you know game feel free feel free to make this one the five star uh oh look at that it's just too easy oh wait we have to win sure <laughs> surely we, we win these right all right guys show me the books show me the books show me the erudition books yes there we go. Like I said, it's too easy. So now we can use her outside of the pure fiction and it's not as bad, which for this account is a very good thing to have. Now our main issue is still beating the same enemy of the main story. Oh, and also I, I saw some people saying that by leveling up the world, I kind of like ruined the account. And here is my quick hot take on that. Uh, yes, I, I probably shouldn't have leveled up the world, right? But if this is meant to be a challenge account, is it really a challenge if I play on a lower difficulty? If I beat all the content in the game when it could have been harder, then I don't really get a sense of accomplishment from that. So while yes, I made this stupidly difficult for us, especially because this boss is only weak to one of the elements that we have across the entire account. Think of how good it's going to feel when we're actually able to somehow beat this. I don't know how that's going to happen, but we just imagine that it will eventually. I also think this is not the right team to bring in here. Though to be fair, the aim of this episode was not to try and beat this specific challenge because I knew we wouldn't be able to. We wanted to get Jade, ideally her light cone as well, and we even went above and beyond that. We 
get another copy of Jade. So that's more of an incentive to try and beat this challenge because we will never be able to fully build Jade if we can't beat this thing. So what does that mean? It means I just spend the next few months grinding Relic Domains, hoping that we get upgrades and also start rebuilding our Jade funds. With that being said, though, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I will see you all next time.